That's actually where I started my uh, police career. So anyway, uh, I just wanted Darcy to know that her speech was fantastic. Her work is really fantastic. And we need to be, we got to have more Darcy's in the world. Okay, all right, everybody be quiet because I'm going to ask these questions. And I'm only going to say that uh, you can, you can, Find this out any way you want, okay? But anybody that's related to me or um, that helped get me here for this event is disqualified, all right? And since how my daughter didn't make it, I don't think I know. Uh, Darcy would be my only relative in here. Okay, first question, okay? First question. In 1994, I sued the federal government over what and what principle did I sue them on? Now raise your hand or just... Wait, I can't, I can't see you. Okay, well, I want somebody over here. Oh, get out of here. Yeah, I know it. The guy who in charge of the Tenth Amendment Association wants to answer. Oh, no way, it's not fair for 
National Sheriff's Peace Officer. Okay, and the acronym would be? C S E O T O. O C. C S P O. To try to get you to be quiet just cost me 140 bucks. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me tell you, what he just said is the answer. Darcy said something that was really close to what I say all the time. How do we take America back? County by county and sheriff by sheriff and state by state. Forget that gun stupid idiotic psychopathic Washington DC okay. now for those of you who believe in the Bible and even those of you who don't if God doesn't strike down Washington DC he owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology I mean that is the most corrupt place on the face of the planet so so this is the this is the solution now when you leave here, you have got to get to know your sheriff. You have got to get to know the guy who swore in God's name to uphold and defend and protect your God-given rights, your American ideals and rights. He's the one that promised you he would defend your Constitution. He's the one that promised you he would protect and preserve you. And, and who is he protecting you from? All enemies, both foreign and domestic. Is it, is it anybody else's fault that the federal government has placed themselves as an enemy to freedom? The sheriff, you know, this is really what some of the sheriffs in this country want to tell you. Hey, we're really busy fighting this drug war. Uh, and you want me to tell you another farce? The drug war! The drug war is an absolute farce and your sheriff has to hear from you. Okay? And, and when we get sheriffs on board, you know what happens? It's the last word that William Wallace uttered. Freedom! Freedom happens! And it can happen, but how do we do it? Let me tell you right now. I just moved to New Mexico. To Ruinoso. It's Lincoln County. And I'm helping a physician run for sheriff because of the corruption and everything going on there, he asked me to be his undersheriff. And I told him that the only way that I would do it is if he made this the freest county in America. And he said, that's the only reason I want it. So, November 6th, if you hear a shot coming from Ruidoso, New Mexico, it will be because he won and we're going to make it a free county, and you're all welcome there to come and live in peace. Okay? That is the solution. And I wasn't sitting around with my wife and going, hey, honey, why don't we move to Ruidoso, New Mexico? We don't have any friends. We don't know anybody. We don't have any family there. Why don't we move there? That isn't what it is. I don't need a job. I'm not moving there for a job. What I need and what I want is a place to be free. And that's all this is about. And you're invited. If you come there next week, you can help us campaign. If you come on November 7th, you can help us establish our free sheriff's posse. And you can be part of the posse. And you can come there and bring your mountain hours. And you can come there and bring whatever else you want to bring. As long as that. somebody else was saying it before. If you want to live in peace and harmony with your brothers and sisters in this country. And you want to stand hand in hand with your brothers and sisters and fellow Americans. Then that's the place to come, November 7th. I would prefer that you come right now. Help us with this tremendous campaign. And you want me to tell you something even greater? He has a legitimate chance to win. So, the three books that I just gave away talk about the solution. What if we had hundreds of sheriffs, like Sheriff Brad Rogers, who's put, put the federal government on notice?
this. You're not going to come in here and violate people's rights. Let me, let me, some of you, and, and I've talked to some of you, some of you are anarchists and some of you are, are uh, and, and, they're, and, and I'm not, if I had to choose between tyranny and anarchy, I'll tell you, I'll take anarchy any day. But let me tell you, we don't have to make the choice between the two. We can still take America back in a peaceful manner. And that's what all of this is about. It's about a peaceful manner. But let me ask you something. Those of you who are complaining about uh, the way things are, do any of you really think that we're in trouble today because we follow the Constitution too strictly? Far from it, my friends. The answer isn't ahead of us. It's not if we move forward. The solution is behind us. It's in our Constitution. It's in American idealism. Let's try the Constitution. We haven't tried it for a couple hundred years. Let's try it for a while and give it a chance. Let's give peace a chance. Anyway, I'm grateful to be here. I've been fighting cold and I apologize for that. But I, I'm telling you, I came here for one reason and one reason only. Because I still believe in America. Because I still believe in you. I still believe there's hope. And we can do this, but you have got to get involved with your sheriff. You want to be involved with him. Take him some cookies and ask him if he's read Sheriff Mack's book, The County Sheriff, America's Last Vote. Every sheriff in the country got one about two years ago. We do have some new sheriffs now. We just held another convention for the CSPOA. What's the CSPOA? Constitutional Sheriffs and Peace Officers Association. We have had about 160 sheriffs from all across the country come to this convention. We've had two of them thus far. What if we, there's only 3,100 sheriffs in this country, what if we had seven or 800 of them acting like Sheriff Brad Rogers, telling the federal government, you're not going to violate the rights of my citizens? What if we had all the sheriffs standing together and saying, we're not going to let you do this to our people. You're not going to confiscate their property. You're not going to seize their bank accounts. Standing up against the IRS. What would America look like? <clears throat> and let me close with this. When I sued the federal government, I never thought it would be successful. I never thought it would make it to court. I certainly never thought it would make it all the way to the United States Supreme Court. And then I never imagined that Justice Scalia would write such a powerful ruling on this issue of states' rights. And he said, and he said that, that he gave us the solution. He said, a healthy balance of power between the states and the federal government will reduce the risk of tyranny and abuse in either front. So what is the solution? We must maintain a healthy balance of power between the states and the federal government. Do we have that healthy balance of power today? Of course not. That's a joke. And we've got to stop it. Bottom line is this. A sheriff in 1994 stood up and sued the federal government and kicked their butts. Okay? We can do it again today. And we take America back. Sheriff by sheriff, county by county, and state by state. And the most important part of that is it remains peaceful. God bless you and God bless us as we stand for freedom together. Thank you very much. I wasn't blessed with height. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheriff Richard Mack.